Hey YouTube, what's poppin'? It's your girl. Happy Motivational Mother Freaking Monday, guys. It is Monday and it is my seventh straight week on YouTube, which today marks 49 days straight I've been on YouTube, almost 50 tomorrow. So 49 days straight on YouTube every single day. That is like so insane to me. And it's so insane to me because if you guys know, if you guys been on my channel before, if you guys been on my channel before I got consistent on YouTube, you guys know that I used to be on YouTube what uh, almost two years back it's been almost two years back guys yes i know i've been out in arizona for two years so it's been um you know it's been quite a journey um in the past two years but just like with my youtube journey it's been quite a journey because i always you know in high school i always feel like i you know everyone always told me like oh my gosh like you have such like a you know just a personality like that could be on a reality tv show or a youtube channel and stuff and then um i kind of was like well i don't know how to do all that techie stuff like i don't want to be able to do all that like you know i don't even watch youtube youtube like that and um you know i still don't watch youtube like that but um i kind of gave like every excuse in the book on why like i never started a channel and then um you know it wasn't until i got with um you know, got around, like, my friend group at the time, and, you know, still my friend group, it's not even my friend group now, it's, like, my family, like, I got around my family, and, you know, just, like, my loved ones, and, like, they just put me on, and just, yeah, just everything took off and everything, um, but it wasn't until then, you know, until I got on YouTube, and then, um, you know, I just would post here and there, um, probably, like, maybe, like, once a week, once every other week, and then I kind of just fell off, you know, a lot of things were happening with YouTube, or not with YouTube, but a lot of things were just happening, which is crazy, I was still getting set in Arizona, you know, um, you know, I was trying out new things, I was doing new stuff, and um, it just got crazy, and it got hectic, and I ended up just kind of falling off, and um, I was sitting here tonight, and um, I say tonight because it's actually Sunday night for me, and um, I'm like, I just, I have so much going on in my life, guys. Like, I'm just trying to be super transparent. I have so much going on in my life. I'm doing so many things. And like, on top of all these things, like I'm doing everything by myself. Like, I don't try to like, except for like, you know, like I, 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 I'm not going to sit here. I say, sit here and say I do everything by myself because like, I thankfully am so blessed to have, you know, a few people, at least like, um, you know, that are around in Arizona, you know, that, um, here and there will, you know, just help me out with little things and like I really just appreciate them so much But like other than that, like I do everything by myself and um, Just just trying to figure everything out by myself Just trying to figure out what I'm trying to do with my entrepreneurship with my with myself and um, Making sure I'm taking care of myself making sure I'm taking care of you know Everything going on in, in, in my house and making sure I'm taking care of the bills and you know my stomach and everything everything that just goes into living which is nuts to say but Needless to say, um, you know, I have a crazy busy um, day tomorrow and I'm like, I have to make, I, I have no other choice but to, you know, I had a crazy busy day, day, day today. If you guys didn't really pick up on the video I posted this morning was actually made Saturday. Like, I just, you know, like, I just, I've been super crazy busy lately and I haven't really actually gotten to make my videos the day I post them, the day I post them. And I was sitting here and I'm like, what am I going to talk about for my motivational Monday? Like, I really, you know, like haven't gotten too much feedback lately and that's okay. And like everyone has their days, you know, there's weeks where I feel like a lot of you guys tune into my channel more. And then there's weeks where, you know, I don't get too many people tuning into my channel. Like everyone has crazy weeks just like myself. But, um, you know, I was sitting here and I'm like, okay, so like, I'm tired. I had a long day. I'm tired. Not to mention I have to, you know, I know I'm going to be tired when I wake up tomorrow and I'm not going to want to do this at all, so I'm going to have to do it tonight. So what am I going to talk about when I get in front of the camera? And I'm just sitting here and I'm just like, honestly, the only thing I can think of is consistency. Like, the only thing I can think of to talk about is consistency. And, like, then it kind of just dawned on me, like, I'm... You know, and that's when I was like, okay, well, it would be a perfect day to talk about consistency because it's a Monday, you know, and I started being consistent on YouTube on a Monday. So today would mark my seventh week on YouTube, my 49th day straight on YouTube again. And, um, you know, really just what consistency means and what consistency means to me and how consistency changed my life. And, um, that's when I was like, okay, yes, this is what my video is going to be on. So I, um... You know, I kind of go back and, and sometimes uh, when I don't necessarily know where to start or know where to pick off when it comes to certain um, videos, I always go to tune into other videos. Like, I'm totally trying to be transparent. Like, I always tune into other videos. And, 
you know, I was listening to this one and it was like, you know, you, you can't, you can't do shit sometimes and expect amazing results. And I'm like, no lie, like no lie. And then I remembered a conversation that I had probably about a week or two ago, um, you know, with, um, somebody that tunes into the, my videos and, um, you know, somebody that I build a relationship off of, um, you know, just, you know, social media and all those things. And I was just telling them, you know, like consistency doesn't have to be every single day. Consistency for you can be doing something, you know, once a week, but doing it every single week, once a week, or doing it once a month and doing it every single month, once a month. But you can't do shit sometimes and expect amazing results. And then it just goes into working out. Like you can't work out a few times and then expect your body to look how you wanted it to look. Like it just, it doesn't work like that. Like just because you go in the gym the first day and after you work out, you don't see results. And then you go into the gym the second day and you work out and then you still don't receive results. Doesn't mean you should just quit. Like, it doesn't mean you should just quit. Like, sometimes it's, like, hard weeks like this for me. Like, you guys, you know, like I said, you guys have your own lives going on, and I don't get much feedback, so I'm like, what the f do I talk about? Like, what do you guys want to hear? Like, I'm not really getting feedback. Like, I'm not really getting comments. Like, you know, I'm not really getting, um, you know, really, sub not necessarily support, but what it was, encouragement, so it's not really, you know, encouraging me and inspiring me, you know, because really, like, when I get feedback, when I get people commenting, when I get people, you know, what it, like, telling you what they want to hear, it inspires me it gives me you know more ideas it sparks a creative process for me and without that you know I'm just like well what the f do you guys want to hear like I don't know what to talk about and really like what consistency means to me is you know I talk about self-discipline self-awareness self-passion and stuff but consistency you cannot be successful at anything if you're not consistent I always say it I'm so blessed to be a motivational speaker, but how am I going to be, you know, the most well-known motivational speaker of this generation if I don't consistently come on here every single day and practice speaking and practice giving speeches, even if they're not written out, even if they're not planned, even um, if I really don't know where I'm going with it or what I'm talking about, how do I expect, you know, to get any sort of support? How do I expect to get any sort of feedback? How do I expect to get any better if I'm not consistently coming on here every single day and for me you know really realistically like if I wanted to I could come up on here just every Monday and do motivational Mondays and realistically when I started that's all I was going to do I was like I'm just going to start posting motivational Mondays I just I want to do something with motivation for my channel so I'll just do motivational Mondays and then it was after I did motivational Monday I was like that was really fun like you know it, it started my day off really right and um, it didn't really take me too long. I don't edit my videos. It's really easy for me to take my thumbnail. And then I did it Tuesday and then I did it Wednesday and then I did it Thursday. And I was like, okay, so if I'm going to start doing it every day, I have to be consistent in doing it every day. And even if that means that I know I have a totally busy day tomorrow, so I need to take it tonight or take two videos or three videos on the same day, then that's what I need to do. Even if I have to change my outfit, change my earrings, change my hair, like in the same day to get some videos done, then that's what I need to do. And it's really just like, it, it, it really just comes to importance. Like, like I said, guys, you, you, you can go to the gym two, three times, but if it's not important to you, if, if you're not hungry enough, you're not going to, and you don't see results right away. If you don't get that instant gratification, you're not going to keep going because you're not hungry enough. And I always say, say to you guys, I'm not hungry no more. I'm starving. Like I'm starving. I'm starving to get my first, my first motivational speech. I, you know, I'm starving to do it. Like, I cannot wait any longer to give my first motivational speech. I need, like, I need to give my first motivational speech because I know that once I step onto a platform, even if it's literally 10 people watching me, it's going to literally just spark my creative process and just do, like, just do a crazy amount of justice for my speaking skills and when it comes to I, me being more fluent and me being, um, you know, even more thought out and, um, you know, sorting out what I'm talking about, how I'm talking about them, I'm starving when it comes to that. I'm more than hungry. And that's why no matter what, no matter if I know I have a busy week or I know I have a busy day, I am going to do what I have to do. Even if, like I said, that's taking three, four videos and doing that in one day. So I have Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. I mean, I really never had to do that. But like, you know, even if I have to do the video um, for the day, the, the day, you know, tomorrow, the night before, it's like 
really like I just I know what consistency means and not only, not only that even if you guys don't tune in I know you guys see my consistency like out of everything even if you guys don't even listen to my full 10 20 30 minute videos you guys still see my consistency even if I posted a four minute video you guys still see my consistency you guys still understand that it has really nothing to do with what I'm talking about every day but the reason that people tune in is because they see I'm consistent. They see I'm consistent. And then it, it brings me to, you know, people waste a lot of time when they, you know, wish for things or they wish for more or they wish for instant gratification. And instant gratification to me is just honestly a way to, a way to give yourself an excuse. It really is. Like, I feel like when people start something and they don't finish it, it's because they're seekers of instant gratification. And that to me is they're seekers for excuses right away. Like if you seek instant gratification off of anything, to me, you seek excuses right off the bat. Before you start doing anything, you're already seeking excuses for stopping what you're doing or pausing and putting on hold what you're trying to do or not even going through with what you're trying to do. When you are an instant gratification seeking person, you're a person seeking for excuses. You don't really want to be consistent. You don't wanna do what you need to do. You don't wanna do what it takes to be consistent. Like I said, it has nothing to do with your performance. You can go to the gym and sit there and do 10 pushups and walk around three, four times and leave, but you still went. And then the next day you might go and you might do five push-ups, walk once around the track and leave, but you still went. The hardest part is getting up to do it. The hardest part is to start. I say that when I, when, and when I said that yesterday in my video, when I was talking about, you know, the mountain hike and I said, the hardest part about the hardest part about hiking is waking up and going to the mountains. That's the hardest part. Now, don't get me wrong. When you're starting it and you're huh, heaving and huffing, like, yes, like taking the breaks and that's like, you know, you, you feel it wearing on your body. But the hardest part, once once you get to the top and once you realize, once once you went through all your peaks, once you went through all your breaks and you finally get to the top, you realize the hardest part was getting there. Because you'll go down and then another day you'll go to it. And now you know, now you know what it takes to get up the mountain and you realize, okay, once I take breaks, it won't be that bad. But the hardest part is getting out of bed and actually re-going and doing it and actually getting out of bed and doing it and actually getting out of bed and finishing it. Instant gratification seekers. If you are someone that seeks instant gratification from something, stop looking for the outcome. Start doing something because you want to get better at it, because you want to see yourself grow from it, not because you want to see results. I want to see myself grow. I want I want to get in I want to get in front of people because I know that the growth that that has for me getting in front of people and giving my first motivational speech is tremendous. Like I can't even fathom how much that's going to help me grow as a person, but I know it's going to help me grow as a person. I don't seek instant gratification. I don't seek 1 million trillion subscribers on YouTube. I don't seek the pay from YouTube. I seek the growth. I seek the growth that it has me coming up here, here every single day. I, I see the growth already. If you go watch, if you go and watch, I swear to you, go watch my first motivational Monday video right now. And mind you, I'm a little tired. Like I had a long day. Seriously, I've been up since I don't even know, but before the sun was up, but go watch my motivational, my first motivational um, money video. And I said motivational Monday today. Damn it. Ugh. See, I'm tired. I'm tired, but I'm still getting up here and I'm doing my freaking video. You guys know if you've watched this forever, like I say motivational money instead of motivational money or Monday because everyone, um, you know, kind of attaches the word Monday with, you know, uh, dragging, lazy feeling. But money is such a different feeling. But go watch my first motivational money video on my channel it's the first video that i ever did for motivation and just see you know just see my flow just see the way i talk see my presence and just see my growth now that you watch my videos it's because i'm consistent every day not every day i'm perfect not every day um you know i i'm a hundred percent all in wanting to do this i can probably say in the last week and a half and you guys probably noticed as well i haven't really been as you know like 
at the camera. You know, usually I'd be like, okay, and then this, and then that, and then that, and then this. And I haven't really been like that because I, you know, like I said, guys, I, I've been having, you know, I've been super busy lately and I'm trying to figure out this and that and the third. But it's the, still the fact that I'm still getting on here every single day and I'm being consistent because consistency, that's, consistency is the hardest when you do not, when you're doing it on days where you don't want to. That's the thing is like people will start something and it's like really easy because they're hungry for it. And then they start to they start to lose their hungry hunger because they don't see that instant instant gratification. And then they don't want to get up and go to the gym. That's when consistency matters the most. That's literally when consistency matters the most. And that's what I say. Even if you get up and you go to the gym and you do five squats and then walk around the track once, you still went. The hardest part was even getting there especially getting there on the day that you didn't want to be consistent on the day that you wanted to give yourself every single excuse in the book on the day that you woke up and you said your head hurt on the day that you woke up and said that your feet hurt on the day that you woke up and you just did not want to get out of bed consistency for me is self-discipline self-awareness passion persistence perseverance and all around purpose put into one. That's what consistency is to me. Honestly. And when you stop giving yourself excuses to not be consistent, consistency actually becomes easy. It actually becomes second nature. I wanna just I wanna just leave off with that. I wanna just leave off with that because I, I feel like for me, like consistency is something I really could go on, I could go on with but i kind of think i want to do a video where i'm collaborating with someone and i want to talk really in depth about consistency i don't want to just sit here and just spill all my beans when it comes to consistency consistency is you know self-discipline is very important to me but consistency is honestly the utmost important thing to me i've seen my channel from when i wasn't consistent to when I am consistent and I've just seen the growth myself. I've seen my channel when I first started till now and like I've just the growth to me is like honestly like I have no words. Like I what's the, when you when you have no words. I don't even know what the word is for when you have no words. But the growth the growth has has, has been crazy. It's been, you know, tremendous. Um and I'm just all around blessed for um the growth and consistency that I've done for myself. Um so I appreciate you guys for tuning in. Like I said, I'm definitely, you know, I'm going to try to get something going where I'm collaborating more, where I have more people come on my channel or, you know, I can do podcasts with people, um, things like that. I'm, I'm working on a lot of stuff right now, guys, when it comes to my business, I'm working a lot of, on a lot of stuff when it comes to, you know, my channel and it comes to motivational speaking. I'm working on a lot of stuff when it comes to books and, um, you know, maybe writing my own. So, I appreciate you guys always just for being patient and just tuning in, showing love. Um, you know, if you guys haven't, make sure you know, like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell to get a notification when I post. Um, follow my clubhouse. All of my all of my socials are in the description below. I do have my book club tomorrow. It is Tuesday, and my book club will be always. It's always on Tuesdays, um, six thirty Arizona slash um, Mountain Time and seven thirty p.m. Wisconsin slash Central Standard Time. So make sure you guys tune in with that. It's definitely, you know, all about elevation and things like that. So make sure you guys tune in, make sure you guys show love, and I will see you guys tomorrow.